I Wish I Were Gus is the third episode of the first season of Everybody Loves Raymond. This is directed by Paul Lazarus and it's one of those episodes that starts off really funny and then got a little bit serious and then it just became both really entertaining and really moving. So there will be spoilers from this point on as I discuss things in a bit of detail and I'll get in with the main narrative in a moment but it starts off with Ali confessing that she drew on Jeffrey. And Deborah goes to get Jeffrey, and it turns out she's drawn a Hitler moustache. And nobody says anything to that effect. Well, there's a comment about Europe, but nobody mentions Hitler by name. And then a couple of minutes later, Frank says, and I quote, can Hitler have a juice box? There are things in life you don't think you're ever going to hear. That's one of them, and it just completely floored me. There are definitely a lot of funny things in this. Something else that I absolutely loved is a certain noise, but I'll get to that in a moment. The main narrative actually focuses on the fact that Raymond's uncle Gus has died. It is quite sad, but he was in his 90s. And Ray has to write and deliver a eulogy. He doesn't want to do this, and part of the episode is about him trying to write it. I think Deborah gave him some great tips. And the actual delivery of the eulogy was very effective. And I'll, and I'll come back to that in a moment. We also have part of the narrative focusing on Marie and her sister Alda, played by Jean Stapleton, and the fact that they're feuding because of something that happened at Ray and Deborah's wedding. And they've been feuding for, I think, seven years now, if I remember. And Ray, when he delivers his eulogy, he gives this really moving speech about how we shouldn't squabble over the little things and we should make up while we still have time because one day we're all going to be Gus. We're all going to be in a box and we'll have run out of time. And I think it's a really moving speech and I think it's something that a lot of people will benefit from. I think it's very easy to fall out with people over silly things or things that may seem important in the moment, but in the grand scheme of things, they really shouldn't matter and that you should make up or make amends or at least get over these negative emotions while there's still time. And Ray highlighted that that's something Gus did. He didn't let these little things get in the way of him living his life. And that's why everybody is at his funeral. And Raymond is definitely implying there that if you hold on to such hostility, not many people are going to want to go to your funeral because you'll have pushed everybody away. And I think it's a really powerful message and really well delivered. But that's not to say there was no <laughs> no humour, because Robert makes this noise, and I was not prepared for this. At the beginning of the funeral, Ray tells Robert not to make that noise he makes at funerals, and I didn't think too much about it. And then Raymond starts to deliver this eulogy, and then really, at a timely moment, we just hear Robert making this noise, and whatever you think this noise might sound like, it's probably not going to prepare you for this noise. It's just absolutely fantastic. And in it, it injects a little bit of comedy, actually quite a lot of comedy because I burst out laughing. I found it to be very funny um, right when we needed it, just to keep things a little bit lighter because it is quite a quite a heavy episode. And I think everything's done really well. And ultimately what happened with Marie and her sister, I think it took a, a really good direction uh, and everything everything went uh, as, as I would have, have wanted it to and everything was very funny but very moving and I really thoroughly enjoyed this episode. It was a little slow after we got over the whole Hitler juice box thing and we got in with the death and there wasn't a lot of comedy to begin with but once once Ray started to write the eulogy it started to pick up from there and it, it became very entertaining but very moving and I think it struck a really a really great balance between the two with some really really powerful messages with some absolutely fantastic comedy. All things considered, it's a really great episode and I'm sure I'll always be happy to watch I Wish I Were Gus.